Okay, I'm going to show you how to print with a Blackberry Bold 9700. It's a Blackberry Bold. Um, just going to collect this so that I can I can uh, print. You can see that, or I can fax. I'm going to print. I'm going to print uh, plain text in this case. Uh, I'm just going to say no. Information is being read. And I'm going to print. As you can see, my printer is already connected to the Wi Fi network. Now it's asking me Wi Fi. So click, select Wi Fi. And select this one. Yes. Since I had already. Now this one is compatible with the NX series. But otherwise, you will enter the IP address. So I'll just select. Yes. Now it's generating a job. And now the printer is printing. Can't do that with an iPhone. Or the iPad. Or i anything. Yes, here it goes. Printing. And here is our printout. See that? I love my Blackberry. Don't you? Don't you? Okay, now here's another way of printing. Uh, when you have, you have a document that has, like in this case, if you can see it, it has four attachments. So when you select print, you're going to get a list of selecting, you know, which do you want to uh, print the message or the attachments um, I'm going to go ahead and select this one I'm going to try this one okay. I got my new printer all set up and ready to go so let's see how see what this looks like here let's go ahead and select wireless printer same printer as before now let's see what the printout looks like Now what it does, I'm using Cortado Workplace, so it sends the uh, the email, or rather the printout, to my uh, Workplace folder, and then it prints from there using my wireless connection, uh, using the, uh, my wireless provider connection. So it sends it to their server, and then sends it to my phone, which sends it to my printer. At least that's how I believe it works. Okay. I'll see if it prints the pictures, see how this works out. This is the first time I've actually done it this way, so we'll see. Okay, when I was filming, when I was filming with, with this cheap little camera here, as you can see, my card ran out of space, so it stopped midway through. But anyway, as you can see, it, it did print. As soon as I pressed cancel, my Blackberry it stopped. But as you can see, it does print HTML. As you can see the color, it does print the color. I didn't get a chance to get the pictures, but as you can see, it does print HTML text, and it does print color. Oasis. Oasis. Whether it's money for bills, rent, car payment, or groceries, call Oasis now. Remember, the phone call is free, the application is free, and there's no obligation to repay if you lose your case. Call Oasis now. Hollywood Park is now open with exciting racing through Sunday, December 19th.
full color printing. Here's the uh, here's the actual. See, here's the actual email from the BlackBerry. See? Email. And there it is. As you can see it. I mentioned earlier that you can upload files to uh, your Cortado workspace. Well, here I did that. I uploaded a PDF file and sent you this weird XML file. It's kind of weird. Anyway, let's go to my Cortado workplace. Um, first, let's go to my... I'm just kidding. I'm just messing around. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know where it is. I'm just messing around. It's uh, in my downloads folder. Downloads time. It's wrong. This is my downloads folder. There it is. Now I just got to select the workplace, select the folder, open it. And as you can see, there's my PDF file right there. Select this to print. This file right here. And then I'll go ahead and show you how to print from an attachment. It says yes. Remember, your BlackBerry has to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Duh. Now send you my data. And now it's printing. Now you can't exit the screen while it's printing the job, so I guess remember that. I've since found out you can do the same thing from the other phones, but I don't really care about those other phones. Okay. These are all the mingles I collected from a game called um, And the World Ends With You. Let's go ahead and print from an attachment. Select our file with the now this file has a PDF attachment. Let's go look at the attachment first. Let's see that this is a PDF file. So we're gonna we're gonna print this file. Print. And it's gonna give us that you do you want the email or the PDF? We want the PDF. So we're gonna select the PDF file. Wi-Fi. Yes. I'm just getting ready to go. Now let's see how it... Yeah, once again, this camera I'm using is a piece of crap. So... And what's it, what it's doing, it's sending the email to your workplace so it can send it via Wi-Fi to your uh, printer. Or maybe send it directly to your printer. I don't know. I think it's forwarding it to the printer's queue, and now it's printing it. So, who knows?
printed a PDF file attachment from my Blackberry. Okay, I guess we can. It is in fact the same. Yeah. You guys can see it is, yeah. Same attachment. Okay, see? Oh wait. This stupid camera sucks. So there's our email attachment and we printed it from the printer. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm done. Bye. Hey, Paul again. I don't know if um, the app iPod has anything like this where you can... It's like a little mini paint program. Where you have to select the, the photo that you want to edit. Choose this picture right here of a sunset I took. And you select open with the mini paint program. And then when you do that, you can make it bigger, smaller. You can add clip art to it. It's kind of funny. Just find some place to put the clip art. I'm not going to do that though. Or you can add text to it. You can uh, make it, you can put the text right there. I'll make it bigger. Change the color so you can see it, make it dark. Make it red. get bold. I don't know if you can see that because this camera's really bad. Then you can also add filters to it. It's probably the most useful function. Um, but for here I want to change the brightness and contrast. If you can hear me it's like okay here's changing the brightness contrast it has a test button where it does a side-by-side -side view so that looks really good you can see how it's different I'm just going to apply the filter um, I'm just going to skip this sir Fills has been applied. And then we're going to go back and make sure you saved it. And you can save it, you can send it to Twitter or you can send it to email. We're going to save the image. And what it does, it saves a copy of the image. It doesn't save the original image, which is cool. It only saves a copy of it. That's really cool. There is our image changed. Now I'm gonna try to do something I haven't done yet. I'm gonna see what happens if I try to print this. I haven't tried printing. Hold on, wait a minute. First turn on my phone. I'm gonna try to print a photograph. Hold on. I have a memory card in there, so that's why I'm saying that. I'm gonna try printing this photo from here, see what happens, see if I can do that. Because I know I printed emails and I printed the memos and PDF, now let's see if I can print a, print a picture. Yes. And here we go, let's see if I can get my picture to print. There it goes. You see what this looks like. There it is, and we just see the picture. 
see it coming out. There we go. We have a photograph printed from my Blackberry. There you go. Let's just go back to our pictures here. And there we go. Printing, and we can even print photos from the Blackberry. I'm pretty sure you can do this on the iPod, but you know, it's just so much cooler when you do it from my Blackberry. All right, that's it. I'm done. No more bragging about my Blackberry until I find something new to brag about. Bye. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to send wirelessly files from the um, Blackberry to your computer. And that's my screensaver in there. Oh, oh I'm going to show you this uh, really cool. Um, this is my Mario theme for my Blackberry. I think it's really cool. Hold on, let me just get a better light here. I think this is really cool. Let me get, let me get over here in better light. There we go. See? Mario, when Mario jumps in this one, it goes to a calendar area. Okay. Calendar. We'll go to work tomorrow. Or whenever. He goes in that tube. He goes back to the main world. And that's where I have the weather applet. So because it's nighttime, then he goes to this tube. He goes to a dock. Now this theme has the most icon docks I've ever seen for a BlackBerry. It has ten, and each of them, these are each of my little my little applications up here. And some of them you can see are from the Mario icon set. This is my email. And then you want to make Mario go back to the main world. He just goes doo -doo -doo, and back to the main world he is. Okay? Or you just press the Blackberry and get the main menu. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to go to my Wi-Fi file transfer. You can see that. And it's going to tell me to enter this address in my browser. But... I already have, let me just adjust this, hold on, there we go. I already have that set up, so let's first uh, press OK here, let's press OK. Now let's, let me adjust the zoom first. Now we're going to go to, here's the menu set up for the wireless thing. You can see that, I'm going to SD card, I'm going to our now this just lets you find, now if you're going to move files from your Blackberry to your computer, this is a great way of, you know, finding your files. But I need to get a video off here. See, I need to get these videos I'm going to do about Epson and another video bragging about my Blackberry. So I'm going to, these are the files I'm going to send to my computer. Load, see, now this is the Wi-Fi setup. This is it. So I there's my SD card. Now, if I want to get files from my computer, I go down and click this one right here. I click the the, uh, the plus thing to add files, and then the dialog is going to pop up. Then I'm going to enter my. Um, actually, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing this wrong. Right? If you want to add files to your BlackBerry, you do this: go to your folder, and then you select the file that you want to add to your BlackBerry. But since in this case, I want to find files on my BlackBerry, just go to SD card, BlackBerry, um, where is it? videos, and then I just select download. So I just select a, the file that I want, and I select download. me for directory. 
this case I'll put it on my desktop click save and there we go I'm going to do that for each of my files or you can load it into the default um, browser viewer if, if you click the file directly then you'll be able to actually load the file into your computer's viewer or, or in, into your browser's plugin viewer but I wanna yeah and I'm there and I don't have any files to actually send to my on oh, there's this one too I wanna download that one also okay now let's now what we have to do now is just uh, we go, go to our here we'll see that there's a status screen right here hold on that's showing you the status of the files as they're being downloaded okay so the files haven't been completed yet so that's why they're not showing up on the on the um, on the, uh, the, the desktop so when they're completed it'll actually show up so you see it's not exactly ready yet so one of them was downloaded Okay, and these are still loading. So let's go to the desktop now. And I guess if they refresh button here. And there it is. There's our my file. And it's still you see that flash temp file up here? That flash temp file is the file that the Blackberry is trying to send to me right now. And here's the one file that I just loaded. And if we go back to our screen here. Now apparently you can only do one file at a time. So if you try to do it more than once and it's part of then it's gonna oops, sorry about that. If you do it more than once then it's gonna cancel out. So you should really and that's why you know it stopped because I tried to do more than one file at a time. Usually you could, but I I was doing it really fast, so I Plus a really large file. This is seven megabytes. That was thirty-six megabytes. So that probably should have just slowed it down. But there you can see that it is actually it does work, and it uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, there's that. Actually, let's cancel these uh, transfers first, so that way we can let's cancel this one. Cancel. Cancel. I'm gonna go back. Okay. And then we're gonna go back. And this time we're gonna just do it one at a time. We're gonna have to do uh, bad Epson. Let's do that one. Oops, sorry about that. And let's do this one. Okay. And now it's just the load into temp file. And there we see on our screen that our bad apps and files loaded. Or maybe not. Okay. And that's a log. This is a log that shows you all the files that you transferred and what type of moods. Uh, it's been happening since it since we have file right here. We have an error, so we probably just need to go back. But there you go. That's that, that's how that works. And uh, yeah, that's how that works. So I'm glad I have a BlackBerry now. Stupid I whatever. Because BlackBerry is like you can send files uh, wirelessly to your computer. You know, or you can send them. You know, wirelessly to your printer you know and print them and plus we have really cool things you know Apple doesn't have any you can't put any themes on any Apple product and that's why I really like about the library got a lot of apps but you can't personalize your thing so 